Very few people know that petrol, diesel, kerosene, all these different substances are separated from the same oil, which is called crude oil or petroleum. Have you ever wondered how petroleum is found inside the sea and how it is extracted from the sea and separated into different substances like petrol and diesel? Petroleum is a substance that has formed beneath the surface of the earth over eons. The remains of ancient plants and animals have been buried and compressed beneath thousands of feet of sand, mud, and rock. The organic materials, under certain geological conditions, have been transformed by overburdened pressure and subsurface heat into hydrocarbon compounds such as crude oil and natural gas. Offshore oil production accounts for about 30% of the total world oil production and offshore gas production for about half of the world production of natural gas. Offshore drilling for oil and natural gas on the continental shelf is carried out in many waters and at large depths. It all started with finding the location. One of the main reasons that makes this process very expensive is finding the location. We all know that petroleum is not found everywhere and that is why it takes a lot of hard work to find it. Geologists and geophysicists use seismic surveys to search for geological structures that may form oil reservoirs. Once geologists confirm the location, the drill rig is brought to the location. These structures are, in many cases, movable. What is more, they can float while being moved and often while drilling. Further, offshore rigs have drilled in waters over 7,500 feet deep and as far as 200 miles from shore. It should also be noted that the lifetime of a rig is generally about 20 years. At the end of that time, unless it is reused or redeveloped, it must be decommissioned. Once the offshore drilling platform is built, the method of extracting the oil and gas from beneath the ocean and moving it to the surface without losing it applied. To drill without water flowing into the hole or having all the oil surge up into the ocean, a subsea drilling template is used. This template is simply a large metal box with holes in it that is used to guide the drilling process and marks the site of each production well. Once the locations of the drilling sites are marked with this template, the drilling process begins. To drill these wells, a number of 9-meter drill pipes are connected to form a large drill string used to reach deep into the Earth's crust. Once connected, this string of drill pipes is connected to a device that spins it around, and using the drill bit connected at the bottom of the drill, string the pipes grind down into the Earth's surface. This drilling process can take a long period of time, lasting anywhere from weeks to months. Once the well has been drilled, the final portion of casing known as the production casing is installed. This casing ends in a cap that closes the well, allowing the flow of petroleum into the well to be controlled. Explosives are sent below ground to crack this production casing at a variety of depths to allow oil and gas to enter the well in a controlled manner and move to the surface at a reasonable pressure. Since the liquid that is brought up to the platform is a mixture of crude oil, natural gas, water, and sediments, some drilling platforms contain full production facilities to separate this mixture, although most refinement occurs onshore. Once some initial treatment has occurred, undersea pipelines and oil tankers transport the oil to refinery. Refining petroleum is the process of converting crude oil or bitumen into more useful products, such as fuel or asphalt. Crude oil comes out of the ground with impurities, from sulfur to sand. These components have to be separated. This is done by heating the crude oil in a distillation tower that has trays and temperatures set at different levels. Oil's hydrocarbons and metals have different boiling temperatures, and when the oil is heated, vapors from the different elements rise to different levels of the tower before condensing back into a liquid on the tiered trays. The finishing touches occur during the final treatment. To make gasoline, refinery technicians 
carefully combine a variety of streams from the processing units. Octane level, vapor pressure ratings, and other special considerations determine the gasoline blend. Both incoming crude oil and the outgoing final products are stored temporarily in large tanks on a tank farm near the refinery. Pipelines, trains, and trucks carry the final products from the storage tanks to other locations across the country. So, this is how petroleum extraction process happened offshore. If you have learned something useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. You can share your questions and feedback in the comments section. May technology bless you.